Othello Summary Othello is a play written by William Shakespeare around the year 1603. The full title is The Tragedy of Othello, The Moor of Venice. The play has always been popular since its premiere owing to its unique themes for the time period, which revolves around racial prejudice. However, it also looks into universally relatable concepts, such as jealousy and love. Othello Summer Plot Overview Othello Summer Plot Overview Othello is one of Shakespeare's most famous works, because it revolves around the story of Othello, a Moorish military commander general in the Venetian army. He and his troops are preparing for battle against the Ottoman Turks, who plan to invade Cyprus. However, he fails to promote Ego to chief lieutenant and instead appoints Cassio. Ego becomes jealous and plots against them. He claims that Desdemona, who Othello recently married, is having an affair with Cassio. This puts strain on their relationship since Desdemona's father does not approve of their marriage, as she is much younger and from a wealthy family. Ego feeds into Othello's jealousy, resulting in Othello killing his wife in anger and then killing himself. For help with other book summaries, check out our other guides like Fahrenheit 451 Summary. However, if the book is not covered or you would like a special version, consider placing an order with our writing experts today. If you are seeking a comprehensive Othello summary to help you in English class, look no further because our tutoring experts have compiled the facts, characters, setting, context, and other details you need to know to help you ace any essay or literary analysis your teacher may require so. Please keep reading this summary for Othello, the book is divided into five main acts, which we offer details on below. So here is a more comprehensive Othello summary. Othello characters, the following are the characters in Othello, Othello, Othello is a Moorish general of the Venetian army. He is the protagonist and is described as tall, powerful and eloquent. He is insecure about his role in Venetian society due to his race and is free and opens with others which leads Ego to take advantage of and deceive him. Even those who accept him such as Desdemona are drawn to him for his foreign qualities and appearance. Desdemona, Desdemona is Othello's wife and Brabantio's daughter. She is described as being meek and pure, but determined and self-possessed. She also speaks with conviction, such as when she tries to convince her father to accept Othello. Desdemona also foreshadows her death by asking Emilia to bury her in her sheets if she dies first. Ego, Ego is Othello's jealous, an ensign, a standard bearer. He is the villain and is 28 years old in the play. He is obsessive, manipulative, and jealous. He is seen as the worst villain since his motives are not concrete. At one point he claims to seek revenge, because Othello did not promote him, but in another instance, he claims to be doing so because he suspects that he slept with his wife Amelia, Michael Cassio, Cassio is Othello's former army captain and is now a lieutenant. He is charming and handsome, which are the qualities that make him Ego's pawn. It is his handsomeness that makes Ego's lie about him cheating with Desdemona plausible. He is also courteous and gallant, which endear him to women thus making Ego's lies seem plausible. Brabantio, Brabantio is Desdemona's father and is described as a self-important Venetian senator, who feels betrayed after Othello marries his daughter in secret, Bianca. She is Cassio's lover and a local courtesan. Cassio often teases her and promises marriage. Roderigo, Roderigo is a former Venetian soldier who is in love with Desdemona. He is easily manipulated thanks to his hate for Othello, is xenophobic, obsessive towards Desdemona as well as weak in mind and morals. He even fails to commit to killing Othello but does so half-heartedly. Ego manipulates his anger towards Othello to incite Roderigo to violence, Emilia, Emilia is Ego's distrustful wife and Desdemona's maid. She is described as being cynical and worldly, Grashino, Grashino is Brabantio's kinsman, Lodovico, he is Brabantio's kinsman and messenger from Venice to Cyprus. It is him who informs the city that Othello is replaced by Cassio as governor, 
Montano, Montano is Cyprus's former governor, who is first seen waiting for the Venetian ships. Duke of Venice, the Duke is the official authority in Venice and in charge of Othello. He sends Othello to Cyprus and reconciles him with Brabanzio, clown, the clown is Othello's servant. His appearance is symbolic of inverted words and actions. To gain an understanding of how to analyze different genres, check out our guide on how to write a book review written by our experts who have written the Othello summary. Othello setting, the setting of Othello is in Venice, an expert's approximate that it is set anywhere from the last half of the 16th century. The war with the Ottomans occurred around 1570 to 1573, so this estimate is accurate. Othello is noted to be a Moor, who are North African Muslim individuals who came from areas around Mauritania and resided around Spain and Portugal. At that point, Venice was a multicultural city that attracted many due to the thriving trade it controlled, thanks to its closeness to the Mediterranean and shipyards. It was also a staging ground for the Crusades, but the city declined later, on due to the plague in 1576. Othello Plot Plot of Othello organized into acts as in the book itself, Act 1, first is the Othello Act 1 summary. The story begins with Rodrigo, a wealthy man, complaining to Ego that Desdemona, daughter of Brabantio a senator, has chosen to marry Othello. Ego resents Othello for not promoting Cassio instead of him, as he considers Cassio to be less skilled. He convinces Rodrigo to tell Brabantio about his daughter's impending marriage, which angers him, and Brabantio goes to confront Othello. Ego goes to warn Othello, but Brabantio finds Othello's home full of guards due to the news of the Turks attacking, and they go to the Duke's house to advise the Senate. Upon arrival, Brabantio accuses Othello of using witchcraft to get Desdemona, but Othello defends himself, saying that she fell in love after hearing of his sad life before coming to Venice. Brabantio warns Othello that Desdemona will betray him as she has done to her father. Ego notes this, and Othello leaves Venice to lead the army against the Turks in Cyprus. He heads out with Desdemona, Cassio, Ego, Ego's wife, and his wife's attendant. That concludes Othello Act 1 summary, which sets the stage for the main conflict and theme. Act 2, upon arrival in Cyprus, the group finds the Turkish fleets destroyed by a storm. Othello orders a celebration and leaves with his wife. Ego convinces Rodrigo to fight a drunken Cassio, which causes an injury to Montano as he is trying to break up the fight. Othello arrives, blames Cassio for the chaos, and fires him. Ego takes the chance to tell Cassio to ask Desdemona for help getting his job back. This Othello Act II summary shows how events are still building up to the climax. Act III, below is the Othello Act III summary, where Ego approaches Othello and tells him to be wary of Cassio. One day, Desdemona drops a handkerchief given to her by Othello, and Emilia finds it. Emilia hands it to Ego. Ego convinces Othello that his wife is unfaithful, which leads Othello to plot against Cassio. Othello also makes Ego his junior, Act 4. The lost handkerchief is planted in Cassio's house, and Ego tries to question him. He asks about Bianca, but whispers, which makes it seem like they are talking about Desdemona. Bianca also accuses Cassio of giving her an old gift, which raises more of Othello's suspicions. He rages against Desdemona and tries to make her life miserable. He also asks Ego to kill Cassio and decides to kill Desdemona. Ego passes on this task to Rodrigo. Act V. Rodrigo attacks Cassio as he leaves Bianca's home but Rodrigo is wounded. Ego attacks Cassio from behind in the darkness and joins Lodovico and Gratiano when they come to help. Cassio remembers that Rodrigo was involved in the attack and Ego stabs Rodrigo to avoid being exposed. Ego also blames Bianca for Cassio's attack, while Othello wakes Desdemona to confront her. She claims innocence, but he smothers her. 
Emilia appears and calls for help. Montano, Grashino, and Ego appear. Othello tells them what happened, and Emilia informs him that Ego deceived him. Othello stabs Ego. And Ego stabs Emilia. Ego decides to remain silent, and Lodovico arrests him and Othello for the deaths caused. Cassio is appointed to replace Othello by Lodovico, who asks him to punish Ego. The play ends with Lodovico condemning Ego, after which he goes to inform others of what has happened. Othello genre, a genre refers to a style or category that has particular traits that set it apart with regard to content, style and form. Common genres you may be familiar with are science fiction, poetry, horror, thrillers, and historical. They largely fall into two categories, fiction and non-fiction. The fiction involves any made-up stories, while non-fiction can include anything from documentaries to manuals. The genre of Othello, therefore, falls into the category of tragedy since it describes the fall of a military hero due to destructive rumors and ego. Several people end up dead due to jealousy and poor communication, while others are arrested for their crimes. Not only is it a romantic tragedy, as it involves the demise of Othello's and Desdemona's relationship, but it is also a domestic tragedy, as many families fall apart due to the events. For help with the literature of any genre, consider placing an order today. Not only do we offer help with other genres aside from Othello summary content, but we also do it expertly. A good example is our guide on how to write a film synopsis. Othello themes, a theme is a central idea in media that offers a moral to the story. It helps the author communicate a particular issue to the reader and can inspire readers. Some of the themes in Othello are, 1. Jealousy, this is the main trigger of conflict in the story. Instances include Ego's jealousy of Cassio and Othello's jealousy of what he believes is Desdemona's infidelity. Ego also suspects that Othello had relations with Amelia, leading to jealousy. Jealousy is a strong emotion and always leads to negative results. It is, therefore, no wonder that both characters plot against those they feel have wronged them, too. Appearance versus reality, Ego misleads other characters, like Othello by lying to them. He achieves this by planting Desdemona's handkerchief in Cassio's home. As such, it appears that Desdemona is cheating with Cassio. Many characters trust Ego's word, but he is often lying, which leads to conflict. For example, he stabs Cassio in the leg, but hides and acts like he is helping him later on. He also knows that his peers are trusting, such as when he notes that Othello is of a free and open nature, Act 1, Dot, 3. Deception and Treachery Ego deceives Othello out of spite, as well as his wife Amelia and others such as Lodovico. On the other hand, Othello believes that those who are honest to him are deceivers, such as when he doubts Desdemona's faithfulness. This deception and perceived deception are what lead to the tragic events in the story. The handkerchief given to Desdemona also originally belonged to Othel's mother, who was an Egyptian sorcerer, and was meant to protect its owner from infidelity. As such, since it is associated with witchcraft, it is also representative of the theme of deception and trickery. 4. Justice, each of the characters bases their actions on their belief that they deserve justice for certain wrongdoings. For example, Ego believes that he deserves justice against Cassio, who took his role. Brabantio also seeks justice against Othello for marrying his daughter since he does not like him. On the other hand, Othello seeks justice against Desdemona for her perceived unfaithfulness. In the end, both Ego and Othello face justice for the crimes they have committed. 5. Military heroism versus love Othello is a successful military officer, who often has to attend to matters of internal security. While the locals can accept his role in the army, they are unsure of accepting him into their society through marriage to Desdemona. Since his identity in Venetian society is tied to his role as a successful soldier, 
Othello avoids anything that can lead to his perception as a weak man. For example, Ego tells him his epileptic fit was seen by his rival Cassio, and his passion most unsuiting such a man thus he feels insecure. In the end, his identity as a soldier and his desire to remain respected affect his ability to reason through his situation with Desdemona. 6. Isolation, the main conflict is directly caused by isolation. Othello feels segregated from the rest of society due to his race, and this leads him to not seek clarification once Ego lies to him about Desdemona cheating on him. However, this is caused by Ego isolating and then manipulating the characters for his own benefit. It is this isolation that leads to misunderstandings and deaths in the end. 7. Prejudice There is a lot of racial prejudice in Othello's summary. For one, Othello is a foreigner and the locals view him as an outsider only accepting him for his skills in battle. Ego and Roderigo also refer to him using unkind words, such as when they call him a Barbary horse, or refer to his thick lips. Desdemona's father also accepts him as a soldier, but rejects him as a potential son-in-law. 8. Honor Honor is a large part of military life, and this can be seen in how Othello conducts himself. Desdemona's alleged affair means that his honor is at risk and could damage his reputation and perceived manhood. It is this desire to preserve his honor and manhood that leads him to seek revenge against Cassio and Desdemona. Literary devices in Othello Literary devices can be used to promote the themes in the play such as betrayal and love. They are diverse, ranging from metaphors to irony, so authors have many at their disposal. They include, 1. Motif animal imagery. At one point, Ego is expressing his disdain for Othello after he does not give him a promotion and chooses Cassio instead. He calls Othello an old black ram, which means that Othello is uncivilized and barbaric, and calls Cassio a fawning publican, who got his new role by being subservient. At one point, even Othello compares himself to an animal, saying that he is an erring barbarian and a base Indian. This imagery is used to show that despite Othello's rank, he is still considered an outsider in the community due to his race, and this even lands him in trouble when some people plot against him, too. Soliloquy A soliloquy refers to when a character speaks their thoughts out loud and addresses an audience. This is common in plays and is used to deliver points the audience would otherwise not have known. Shakespeare is well known for using this to relay important plot information to the audience. In this play, Othello gives a farewell speech soliloquy where he bids farewell to his reputation and embraces his new role as a scorned lover seeking revenge. As such, it symbolizes his change from a loving husband to a vengeful one. Three. Symbolism One of the main symbols in the play is the handkerchief. Othello gives it to Desdemona to demonstrate his love, but he believes that she is cheating with Cassio, and that he gave her this handkerchief. To him, it is proof that she betrayed him, and it becomes a sign of jealousy. This is because Ego has fooled him into thinking that Desdemona is cheating so as to lead him to violence and enact his revenge. This is made worse by the fact that Othello's mother gave him the handkerchief. She was an Egyptian sorcerer, and the handkerchief was meant to make its owner immune to a cheating lover. As such, Othello's rage also comes from the fact that his mother gave him the handkerchief as a token of her love, and he passed it on to Desdemona as a token of love as well. Another instance of symbolism is when Desdemona sings a song called Willow which is about a woman betrayed by her lover. The song was taught to her by Barbabri, her mother's maid, who was also betrayed by her lover. She sang it when she felt alienated from Othello, and it even leads her to ask Amelia about infidelity. 4. Allusions Allusions are references made to something without naming them. There are four types of allusions. Historical allusions refer to a past period, or events of certain significance, Literary allusions refer to a literary text, or individual such as Othello in this case. Religious allusions refer to a religious text, story, 
or individual, mythological allusions refer to a mythological creature or person. It is worth noting that an allusion is only effective if the reader is familiar with the concept. As such, it can help the author insert meaning into a particular word or phrase. An example is when someone states that another person smiles like a Cheshire cat, which refers to the broad and sinister smile of the cat in Alice in Wonderland. In our Othello summary, instances of allusion include by Janus. I think no which Ego says in Act 2, when he wants to manipulate Rodrigo. It refers to Janus, a two-faced Roman god, and indirectly shows that he cannot be trusted as he is shady. Othello, historical a cultural context, the story of Othello happens in the 1500s. At this point in time, the Venetian and Turkic empires were dominant. The story is also based on a series of stories first published in 1565, by Cynthia named Glee Hecatomythi about a Moors ensign who falls in love with Desdemona, his captain's wife. The region also experienced intermingling among Muslims and Christians. As such, there was cultural intermixing and tension that is observed by the racial prejudice some characters show towards Othello. Venice was also known for being a rich cosmopolitan city that housed many immigrants. Shakespeare's writing was also well enjoyed by the general public, and Othello was well received. It was first played in James' One London Palace in 1604 at the Banqueting Palace. Back then, all actors were male, so the female roles were played by young boys.